Just take a moment with your feet about hip width apart, your arms alongside. Palms can be facing forward or towards the body. Close your eyes gently, your eyelids like rose petals, soft, slightly translucent. And just see how your body feels today. Feet firmly rooted in the earth, head firmly rooted in the clouds. And then just bring your arms out to the sides just to feel what it feels like, shoulder height. We always have this idea of a cross, divine, which flows through us vertically and then the arms are how we express that in the world and the heart, as it were, is the crossroads in the center. And then bring your fingertips in towards the sternum and massage the ribs on either side of the sternum. So from your collarbone all the way down. So find these wee spots in between the ribs, like the intercostal muscles here in the front. Just massage them as far as it, as well as it goes with your clothes. If moment to massage up and down on either side. Okay, taking a bit more time where you feel there's tension, observe where you notice this. You might notice there's some sort of resonance even down in your feet when you do this. And then Bring your right hand to the left shoulder and find the spot in between torso and shoulder and massage that spot, so this heart-lung spot. And anything that feels slightly sensitive, take a little bit more time there. Any point. And then the other side. So left hand into right shoulder. So heart lung point. When our heart and lungs are healthy, usually the rest of the body is healthy too. and then release the arms down and then out to the side again. You might notice there's a lengthening that has happened already. Your arms can really reach out all the way through the fingertips. And then with gently or slightly bent knees, bring the arms down, hands down, cross over one hand over the other. This will be your exhale. And then on the inhale, the arms come up and again, you cross one hand over the other. And then when you come down, it's the opposite hand. So keep your mind active on the hands. This exercise, besides being a natural pranayama or breathing exercise, also helps to coordinate and also to bring the hemispheres of the brain together as we cross over the midline. So you might even be able to sense where's the moment where you cross the midline. Okay, it's a different sensation. Next time, release the hands down. We're going to use the right hand to push down the earth. So long hand, palm is flexed upwards. And then the left hand is going to come up and push towards the sky. And we're going to reach towards the right. So 
There's a side bend here. The long arm, see if you can lengthen the arm and really push through the palm. And then when you come back, your body straightens and the hands change. Left hand pushes down, right arm pushes over. See if you can really push as if you had resistance here. And then in your own breath rhythm, it'll be the inhale that changes the hands and the exhale that lengthens you to the side. Then finish on the opposite side you started. So we've done both sides equally. Release the arms down, hands down. Bring the right thumb to the navel. Lock the left hand over the left, over the right, and then place both hands on the lower belly. Knees can be slightly bent and just draw or sense the concentration here of energy in the lower abdomen. Release your arms, take a wider stance. So the heels are facing out and the toes slightly in. So we have a sort of gentle interior rotation here in the thighs. Open your arms out to the side, light arms floating on clouds. Hands behind you, interlace the fingers. Reach your heart up towards the sky, your face up towards the sky. And then on the exhale, bend forward with straight legs if you can. Arms come up and over. Next inhale, pushing through the feet, come back, release the arms out to the side. And then in one smooth movement on your exhale, hands interlace, upper body comes down. One more time. challenge you to deepen your breath and then arms out to the side and now we're going to grasp the left ankle with the right hand so sideways twist grasp you can bring your right hand your left hand to the sacrum and then see if you can turn and open your upper body Come back to the center, both hands now on the ground, and then left hand to the right ankle, right hand to the sacrum, and turn in the other direction. One more time each side. Noticing the backs of your legs opening, and the torso twist. Come back to center, pushing through your feet, open your arms up towards the sky and exhale your hands to your center. Beautiful. So you can take a moment for a little affirmation, Sankalpa, for yourself for this practice today. And then release your hands, bend your knees deeply and you're sitting back onto your heels as it were. So the thighs coming down parallel to the earth, sort of. Arms come out to the side. On the next exhale, twist over to the left, open the arms up towards the left, look behind over the length of the left arm. Come back to center and then to the right. Center to the left. And this is 
gentle pulsation as you move. Super. And then pushing down through your feet, reach your arms up and overhead. On the next exhale, Uttanasana, dive down, touch the earth, head to knee. Crown of the head reaches forward, right leg comes back, 45 degrees, bend the, the left knee. Open your arms up, so warrior one. Arms out to the side. On the next exhale, twist over to the left, arms stay parallel to the ground. Come back to center, and then two more times. Back to center, arms come up to touch the sky, eyes move up, hands interlace behind you. Open your heart up towards the sky, and on the next exhale, dive down the inside of the front leg, arms come up and overhead. Pressing down through your feet, release the arms, come back up. And then hands come down, front leg goes back, turn the back foot into plank. In plank on the next exhale, draw through the navel, round the body. On the next inhale, reach back through the heels and through the crown of the head. So we'll pulse here two more times, draw through the navel and then reach and lengthen. Last time, draw through the navel, reach and lengthen. Knees to the earth, sit back onto your heels, looking forward, so keep your eyes fixed forward, child's pose variation. And then from here onto all fours and then allow the body to meet the earth, tops of the feet on the ground, hand next to your chest, elbows dial in as you come up into Cobra. On the exhale, release down towards the earth. Next inhale, find all fours and move back into downward facing. Knees can be bent, body long, there's an arrow from the head reaching all along the spine and directed up towards the sky along the sacrum, the, the sacrum with the tip of the arrow. Eyes come forward, left leg rises. On the exhale, foot forward. Right foot follows, bow down deeply. <clears throat> With the strength of your feet, you're going to come up into Uthita Tadasana, and then exhale your hands in front of your heart. Move to the other side. Arms come up, eyes move up. Touch the earth, head to knee. Crown of the head reaches forward. Left leg comes back, foot 45 degrees, warrior one feet. Come up into Virabhadrasana one. On the exhale, arms out to the side. Create space on the inhale. On the exhale, twist over the front leg. Come back to center. And two more times. Try and keep the front leg deep. Come a little bit deeper, maybe into the front leg. Super. And then both arms up towards the sky. Hands behind you, interlace the fingers. Open the heart towards the sky. Arms lengthen back. Next exhale, dive down the inside of the front leg. Come back up with the strength of your feet. Release the arms up. And then turn the back foot, arms come down, front leg goes back, and we're in plank. On the next exhale, draw up through the belly, round the body, head looks towards the navel, and then lengthen forward and back. Two more times, drawing up, 
and lengthening. Drawing up and lengthening. And then knees to the earth. Sit back onto your heels, long arms. Hollow out the armpits. Reach back through the tailbone. And then come up onto all fours and allow the whole body to come down. Tops of the feet on the ground, elbows dial in as you take the next inhale up into Cobra. Exhale, we'll release the body down. Transition onto all fours and back into downward facing. I stay forward as the right leg rises all the way. Right knee into navel, right foot forward. Left foot follows, bow down deeply. Pushing down through the feet, come up. Arms up towards the sky. And exhale your hands in front of your heart. And now bring both feet together again so the inside of the feet are touching, knees are touching. Knees press in towards each other. Sit back into Utkatasana. Arms come up, eyes move up. And you sit back a little bit more. And then on the next exhale, we're going to bring both arms over to the left. So you keep your arms wide and you look over the left shoulder. Back to center on the inhale and over to the right. Back to center on the inhale, both hands together in Anjali Mudra. Now we're going to twist, putting the right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Draw the right hip back as you do so. And if you want, you can look up. Coming back to center, straighten the legs, straighten your arms up towards the sky. And then exhale the hands in front of your heart. Come back down into Utkatasana. So weight goes towards the heels and then twist towards the right. Both knees are together. And then the right hip draws, uh, left hip draws back. If you can look up towards the sky. Coming back to center, release both arms up towards the sky and then down to your side. You can keep your feet now inner hip width apart, both arms up towards the sky, eyes come up. Exhale, folding forward, head to knee. Frown of the head comes forward on the inhale. Right leg moves back, foot placed for warrior two, parallel to the back of the mat. Come up with the right arm first, and then the left. Find your position here. Arms are light, as if placed on clouds. Remember the opening we did in the chest. And then the right hand to the back thigh. Move the front knee forward, and then open up the side body. Next exhale, front elbow behind the front knee, back arm along the horizon. Feel the connection, move through the fingertips, outer edge of your back foot and the fingertips, all one line. Next inhale, come back to center. Turn the back foot, windmill your, windmill your arms down back knee onto the ground, stretch your front leg. You can use blocks here if you wish to have them on either side. Okay, so this is half Hanumanasana. Now we're going to bring the right hand to the outside of the left leg and open the left arm out. So twist here again. back to center, front foot goes back, child's pose, toes st stay upturned, look forward, 
Next, inhale, drawing through the navel. Come up onto all fours and then lay your whole body down. Reach back through your arms, reach up through the feet. Salabhasana, locust pose, really long arms, long feet. Couple of breaths here, keep your neck released. And then hands underneath your shoulders, transition through all fours back into downward facing dog. Left leg rises, eyes go forward. On the next exhale, knee into navel, foot forward in between your hands. Right foot follows, bow down deep. And then pushing down through your feet, come up into standing, arms come up. And exhale your hands in front of your heart. Next, inhale, arms come up, eyes move up. Touch the earth, head to knee. Crown of the head forward. Left leg moves back, foot parallel to the end of the mat. Bend the front knee. Left arm dials up and back until you find yourself warrior two. Move the front knee forward. Right hand, or back hand onto the back thigh. Open up and move the front knee forward as you do so. So the two opposite movements here. And then bring the elbow of the right arm behind the right knee. Left arm along the horizon. Look into the left hand and you notice your rib cage opening here as you do so. Feel the connection between the outer edge of the back foot and the fingertips. And then come up into warrior two again. Soft gaze along the front arm. And then turn the back foot, dial the arms down. Front leg goes back into plank. And then both knees come down. Front foot, uh, right foot comes up. I nearly forgot Hanumanasana on the other side. So you're on your left knee. Right foot comes off the ground. Right leg is stretched. Use blocks here if it feels more comfortable. And then bring the left hand to the outside of the right leg. Open the right arm up and look over the right hand. See if you can find your balance here. Release the right shoulder down, reaching through the fingertips. And then come back to center. Front leg goes back. We're on all fours. Hands come forward. And then release your heart down towards your thighs and your eyes stay forward. So you don't have to touch the ground. Sit bones up towards the sky. Next, inhale, coming up. And exhale, allow the body to release all the way down to the earth. Tops of the feet on the ground, hands next to your chest. Elbows dial in, hands dial out as you ride the next inhale up into cobra. On the exhale, moving back down. Come up onto all fours and then back into downward facing dog. Eyes come forward, right leg rises all the way. On the next exhale, right foot comes forward, left foot follows, bow down deeply. Pressing through the feet, come up all the way, arms come up. And exhale, hands in front of your heart. With your eyes forward, we're going to keep the left leg as a standing leg. You can bring your hands towards your hips. We're going to find Vriksasana, or the tree pose. 
Okay, so just keep quiet inside. Place the foot to the inside of the standing leg. Keep your hands to walk close to the body, so proximal, it's easier. And then when you're ready, you could lift the arms up towards the sky. Take it out and we'll do the other side. You can always use a tree pose or any, actually any balancing pose just to sort of check as if it were bar the barometer for the day. So how is my balance? You can keep your arms out. Remember as if you had an imaginary wall and then if you wish, lift up. Okay, so the sacrum is moving down, the fifth vertebra, the lumbar spine moving down, and from the fourth vertebra, you're moving up towards the sky, from the fourth lumbar vertebra. Beautiful. And then release. Come back. You can shake out arms and legs. You shake out the judgment comes up really quickly and we're going to move down here into a squat and then sitting back onto the ground bring the right knee over outstretch the left leg right knee over left Move your sit bones out to the side so that you have a stable base here. So sit bones are your heels as you sit. And then bring your left arm, wrap it around the right leg. Find length and then twist over towards the right and look over the right shoulder. Keep your right hand close to your torso. That will help to lift you up from the base all the way. See if you can focus your breath, especially around the lung area. So what we opened at the beginning, keep your navel gently drawing in towards the spine. So even as you breathe, it's more into the chest area. And you'll notice that your thoracic spine becomes more flexible. And then gently Come back to center. Move back onto your lower arms, palms facing forward. Lift both legs up towards the sky. Look at your feet. You can stretch your toes. Spread the toes. The padmas, if you had lotus, the lotus feet. And then gently bring your legs down very, very gently. Come up with the upper body. Bring your left foot over. Okay, right foot stays active, i.e. the toes are drawing towards me and I'm pushing through the right heel. And then take your time to find how to get into this twist. So the navel Draw slightly in. You can wrap your right arm around the left knee. Look towards the left. Keep the left hand quite close to the body without lifting the shoulder. And then see if you can direct your breath into the rib cage. And notice how it will want to turn even a little bit more, expand even a little bit. Breath flows steadily. And then gently 
Coming back to center, we'll move back onto our lower arms again. Stretch both legs up towards the sky. And then on the exhale, bring the legs down very gently. You could also place a block in between your thighs as you draw the legs down very, very gently. Okay, you can always keep your knees bent if you find this very challenging. You can keep your knees bent or do one leg at a time. And then from here, lie down onto your back. Place your feet up on the ground. So you can touch your heels with your middle finger. Move your shoulder blades out to the side and down away from the ears so that they feel comfortable. And then gently lift your pelvis just an inch or two off the ground. So hardly lifting it at all, but it's not touching the ground anymore. Spread your arms out towards your sides, palms facing down. So find the cross that we had when we were standing. Gently move your pelvis over to the left and let both knees move towards the right and your head towards the left. If you wanted, you could place the heel of the lower leg, which is the right leg, to the outside of the left knee, and that will intensify this twist a little bit more. And then gently Come back to center, both feet on the ground. Lift your pelvis up just an inch or so off the ground. Even let it rock from side to side. Very, very gently off the ground. And then place the pelvis over to the right and let both knees go towards the left and your head towards the right. If you wish, left heel, which is the lower leg to the outside and top of the right knee to intensify the twist. Observing the peace within your breath. And then gently back to center, both feet on the ground. Lift your pelvis just an inch or so off the ground. Let it find its center point, the center of gravity here. You'll notice when the pelvis is off the ground that you'll also feel the back of your heart on the ground. See if you can roll, keeping your pelvis lifted, just roll the thoracic vertebra onto the ground. So all the way to the bottom of the ribs, pelvis is off the ground. And you can even gently press down into the earth with the thoracic spine. So pressing down while still breathing. And then release the pelvis down, release your legs down. Let your arms find a comfortable distance from the body. Close your eyes. Keep them closed as we enter into Shavasana. So 
let the physical body melt down completely. physical body to drop down, we become more aware of our pranic or energetic body. From the very center of your being, which could be the center of your head or the center of your heart, Observe how your body melts down. At the same time, you might even experience the subtle energies moving through your body. Everything melts as you release resistance to the earth. You allow your body to open. And then very gently start deepening your breath. Start moving your toes, your fingers, reach your arms up and behind you. Deep inhale, deep, deep yawn. Draw your toes towards you, stretching the whole of the back body. And then bring the left knee in towards you, the right knee in towards you, one knee in either hand. And you can circle your knees out towards the side and together again. Starting the sacrum, the hips, the joints, and then both knees over to the right as we move up into a seated position.
find the posture that works best for you. Umi Parshva Mudra, Earth Witness Mudra. Right hand touches the earth. Left palm faces forward. Your left arm is close to the body. There's no tension in the left hand. The right hand can be in front of you or to the side, wherever is easy. Left hand is soft. open to the heavens, to the skies, and the right hand witnessing the earth. open and receptive to the present moment. I witness. I witness all life here on earth. I witness all pain, all suffering. And I witness all the joy and wonder and awe being alive. You might find this point in the center of your head or maybe in the center of your heart, which bears witness to you witnessing to your thoughts the sensations, this immutable center inside yourself. May we have the courage to reside there, to let life throw, flow through us from the heavens to the earth. May we remain in quiet peace and ecstasy. Feel free to remain here in meditation, in this posture, and with this gesture, observing whatever happens, all the sensations you may have, without attachment to them. say thank you so much for coming, for joining me this morning.